Hi, I'm Gary White for Central Kentucky Television. I'm here with Tom Lund, who is the Executive Director for the Marion County Industrial Foundation, for our look back at 2014 and a look forward to 2015. Hopefully 2015 is going to be even bigger and better, right? Well, that's, uh, our, that's a challenge, Gary. <laughs> well, it is. It's always our challenge, and that's always our goal. Uh, well, 2014 was great because not uh, too long ago, Marion County was recognized as creating the most jobs per capita of any county in the state. Yeah, we, uh, we were recognized for the, by the state. Uh, we had seven, seven industries that uh, announced expansions, uh, created uh, 500 or more jobs, and uh, uh, the state considers that uh, 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 on the basis of it, for every 10,000 people, how many, how many jobs did you create? And so we're, uh, uh, we were the top, uh, top job creator in, in Kentucky last year. Well, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Now, our challenge is, though, that we have to, uh, uh, we, we got to see what we can do for 2015. That'll be our, our goal is to try and uh, accomplish more than we did in 2014. Right. Now, we talk about the jobs we create, and uh, <coughs> uh, that's, that's great to create the jobs, but it, it also causes a lot of issues. We uh, we have issues such as where we're going to find 500 skilled jobs. Mm -hmm. How are we going to train these workers? How are we going to provide uh, uh, training? And, and also, uh, how are we going to uh, create a, a good standing within the community for these people? That's right. Yeah, that's, uh, I know it becomes the issue is it's great to have these jobs, but we need to find the workforce that, that fills it, right? Right. How is our unemployment rate here in Marion County right now? Well, we're lower than the state average, and uh, I understand the state average is lower it's been than it's been in several years. Uh, probably the lowest it might ever have been. So, uh, and we're we're below the state average. Uh, it's 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 in the five percent range, five point five percent range. So it's uh, uh, at some point. Uh, there are very few skilled workers left uh, in, in the economy, and that's and that's uh, that's been the focus of uh, a lot of our attention. We've spent a lot of money, we've spent a lot of time uh, uh, training. Uh, uh, we've got uh, uh, industrial rep at the technical school now. Kenny Merritt is doing a fine job uh, introducing manufacturing skills up there at the technical school to the students. Uh, you know, we, uh, the city and the county, have contributed over $200,000 to technical training uh, this past year. So that, that, that's a real help. Uh, uh, and uh, we've got a long ways to go. Uh, our yeah. industries are always uh, needing skilled people, and uh, it's always a challenge to find those skilled people. Yeah. Um, I know the, economic, uh, the Area Technology Center which services both Marion County and Washington County here, has been going through a lot of uh, work. They had a program not too long ago there uh, here. There was a Gear to Career Day that they held with some of the students, showing some of the work that they've been doing. And it's kind of impressive what they've been able to achieve. It has been impressive, uh, but as I say, we've got, we got a ways to go. Uh, we've got to introduce those skills that our, our industries need. Uh, our challenge is to try and get to these uh, students earlier, maybe in the sixth or seventh grade, and introduce them to, uh, to some of the things that are going on in industry, some of the skills that uh, industries need, and, and to interest them in what, what is actually going on in the manufacturing uh, sector. So in Marion County, what is the primary industry focus? Is it automotive? Well, certainly automotive. It's uh, you know we've got several companies that are automotive. We have uh, plastic injection molding companies, uh, which is another sector. Uh, that sector, though, is pretty much also geared to the automotive industry. Uh, you know, we've got wood products. Uh, 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 that uh, we uh, you know make a lot of barrels, make wood flooring, uh, and we're trying to. Uh, trying to reopen a mill here that has been closed for several years so really? that's a project we've been working on which uh, is also a wood processing 
okay. industry. And of course, our agriculture industry, we don't want to forget them. It's, it's a big, uh, it's a big far, part of our economy and something that we're really working on to try and help uh, right. uh, grow and uh, increase in, in value. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. now, I know in 2015, it'll be the 200th anniversary of the city of Lebanon. And one of the woodworking businesses here uh, Lebanon Oak Flooring is over 100 years old, so it's been around here. Over 100 years. Yeah, for over half the history of the city. Yeah, and uh, it's, a, it's an amazing industry. I, I think people, uh, if people could go out and see what's actually being manufactured in Marion County, I think that they would be really amazed. And it's easy, even, even for us at work in these, uh, uh, with these industries every day, it's amazing what is being produced here and what's working here. And, and Lebanon Oak Flooring is one example. It's amazing what they make here. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so 2014 was a great year because we had lots of jobs created. What are some of the other highlights that you uh, think when you look back at 2014? Well, uh, um, of course, uh, what we did at the technical school, uh, we did a lot of recruiting too. We, uh, we went as far away as Hazard, Kentucky. We also went to Russell Springs, Kentucky, trying to find the people. Mm -hmm. uh, in training, uh, we were able to uh, uh, to get grants in the amount of four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars to help with uh, with training of our industrial uh, the labor force. Uh, we uh, we had over a hundred classes uh, in in various training things. And uh, Marion County uh, Industrial Foundation, we've always been charged with. Uh, the uh, Main Street uh, activity. Uh -huh. uh, since uh, since we were formed, uh, we we've, we've had the Main Street under our uh, under our activities, uh, and we had a lot of we had a lot of interesting and a lot of positive things happen in, in Main Street this year. We got a new Main Street committee. They got a lot of enthusiasm. Uh, uh, they bought a trackless train. Uh, right. <laughs> Yep. Which is uh, which is a way to uh, uh, to promote our existing industries, but uh, uh, the Main Street Committee. I don't know. You probably also saw all the flower pots that were out along Main Street, uh -huh. and they worked in a lot of promotions. Uh, uh, we had shops small. We had the Christmas open house. We had Dickens Christmas. Uh -huh. uh, those are very meaningful, and uh, so uh, absolutely. And actually. Uh, when we're recording this, it's the day that they're going to have the Chamber of Commerce Banquet this evening, and there's going to be a new award given out at the Marion County Chamber of Commerce Banquet with Main Street, their Main Street yes, Education Awards. Yes, they will give out the a new one. award tonight. Yes. Yeah, so a lot of stuff going on with them. What can we expect to see for 2015 here in Marion County? Well, uh, 2015 is, uh, uh, we're, we're, we're concentrating a lot on, on, on uh, the cultural activities of the community. We think this is very important and we're going to support uh, those people that are trying to increase the cultural activities in the community. We're, uh, we're doing our 2015 magazine. It's an industrial, it's, a, it's our recruiting tool. Uh, we're doing a new, uh, uh, and it's, it's a bicentennial issue of that. Uh, uh, for the 200th year, is that bicentennial? Yeah. Sustentennial. <laughs> Bicentennial, yep. Yeah, and uh, we're going to certainly, uh, we're going to try and take local control of our technical school up here. Uh, we think that's critical to, to our success. Uh, and then we also want to try and expand the broadband and uh, Wi-Fi and, and the internet service for the community. Uh, this, this, uh, this is really, really important. And uh, another thing that's important we feel is uh, we're going to uh, be continuing to work to connect the Taylor County water system to our water system over here. Uh, we, uh, since we had our negotiations with McDonald's, mm -hmm. uh, we, we've uh, developed an industrial park that's uh, certified for food processing, and we right. feel that uh, that is uh, something that we can accommodate here in our economy and uh, certainly going to press on to see if that can't become a reality. Yeah, because you got certification for doing food processing, correct? Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. And that's mainly because of the utilities that are out there and the utilities that are in place uh, in that particular area. 
And was the water from Taylor County, does that help in that area too? Uh, we, we have a water supply that can handle the food processing industry, but uh, we're, we're concerned that if, uh, in case of a drought or extreme dry conditions, that uh, we might need to supplement that water source. So that's, a, that's our goal is to connect to the Taylor County water system. So there's a lot on the agenda for 2015. Got a lot on the agenda. Our board continues to, you know, uh, they're committed to uh, improve the economy and uh, and and the whole cultural cult culture of uh, Marion County. Uh, that's our goal. Uh, we continue to be aggressive. That's uh, great. We get accused of uh, not being as aggressive as we once were, but uh, behind the scenes, uh, we. we our board feels that uh, we're going to continue to approach it in an aggressive way. A lot going on. Well, thank you very much for this update. Thank you, Gary, and uh, uh, I hope you consider using this as your studio here yeah. while you're in Lebanon. It yeah, it looks seems good. To work good. <laughs> <laughs> thank okay. you. We're going to have been talking with Tom Lund, who's with the Marion County Industrial Foundation. This is Gary White with Central Kentucky Television.